PPP update is anyone else not able to upload their docs every time I try to upload it it takes me back to this screen hopefully guys we can get some type of resolution if you guys are new to the channel of course make sure you guys like and subscribe I will actually try my best to actually give you guys the best the greatest and the latest information as always, um, like I said, if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys like and subscribe. That way you guys will be entered in the giveaway. Now, um, people were talking about the PPP extension. Is it extended? Um, I know we have until the 31st of July. What's really going on? Now, if you guys um, got those questions and want those questions answered, I actually have a playlist on my channel that actually talks about the, um, the PPP extension. So I got tons and tons of videos talking about the PPP extension. And then hopefully that can actually help you guys out as well. If you guys don't know, you know, currently I was under the weather. Um, I wasn't feeling too good, but I, I still pushed through. Still found a way to actually make this content for you guys because I know a lot of people was, um, you know, still asking me a lot of questions. So like I said, I try my best. I'm going to continue to try my best to actually get everybody um, questions answered and um, all that good stuff. So yeah, let's get right into this because this has been one of those topics that people was asking. And um, as you guys can see here, it says additional documentation. We need you to upload some additional documentation, correct errors. And it says additional documentation. We need additional documentation to back up your earnings and draft schedule C numbers. Uh, fix all errors before submitting information. So let me know in the comment section if you guys actually came across this. And um, you know, because like I said, it's very, it's a tough situation. Trust me, it's very, it's a very, very tough situation, especially when it comes down to, um, you know, when you're having this information updated because it seems like, you know, tons of people were updated, 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 and it was still, there was nothing there. You know what I mean? Updated, then they kept getting emails or updates stating they need updated, you know? So hopefully we get some answers there. And this is on the blue acorns, you know? So, um, yeah, if you were in the system, like I said, that extension helped everybody. If they was in the system, they should have been pretty good, pretty solid. So, yeah, let's get into some of these comments. Hopefully, um, you know, what I would think is, like I said, to try to create a, um, a ticket. Now, when I say that, I say that to say this because everybody is different. But like I said, if you guys got questions, go on this Blue Acorns, go on the website, create tickets, get in contact with them. You know, try to get numbers, emails, all that good stuff. That way, at the end of the day, you can um, at least get some type of information. Now, um, let's go ahead and read some of these comments. Somebody said, I submitted mine via ticket and explained to them that it wasn't working. Then they fixed it. So there you go, guys. If this is happening, guys, like I said, try your best to contact them. Try your best to, you got to tweet them. Find them on Facebook, find them on Instagram, wherever the case may be, try to find them and try to do it. I know at the end of the day, like I said, it is tough because, you know, they have all of your information. You know, we talked about this. They have all your information, your social, your kid's name, your kid's middle name, your kid's birthday, all that good stuff. But then when it comes down to actually finding out who they are or trying to get in contact with them, there's nothing there. You, you got to create a ticket. You know, so the best thing to do is, guys, try to create that ticket, but then also let people know, or I'm sorry, let them know what's going on. But don't try, don't just give out your social and do all that first. Try to get in contact with them because you never know who you're going to be messaging, who you are messaging, because a lot of people was emailing people and just based on certain things, I was like, yeah, don't, you don't want to email any of that person information, but, um, them being the lenders and company that they are, all that information should be already in the system. But just for your benefit, benefit, don't um, you know give out that personal information. So to kind of recap, like I said, uh, somebody said I submitted mine via ticket and explained to them that it wasn't working. Then they fixed it. So a lot of people, people out there, create that ticket. You know, create a ticket. Go to their website explain to them what's going on uh, and, um, like I said it's really an easy fix for them it is just a hassle it is just it, it's just a little too much when it comes to actually um, figuring out a solution because they really don't I don't say they don't want to but it's just like glitches in the system you know but like so they can fix that as well 
Somebody said, I did mine yesterday. Are you uploading a picture or a PDF? Somebody said a picture. Press correct docs, upload, and hit save, submit. Somebody said, I did a picture too because I use my phone. I have to take the picture and save it to photos. Then go back to the docs and go to my photo library and upload it from there to get it to work. It wouldn't work trying to take a picture through the app. So there you guys go. If you're using your phone, take the picture first, then upload it. So somebody said, I tried to get it and it worked. Somebody said, yes, I did it a few times too. Do you know, do we have to do anything else or do they just ship the dash card I opted in for? They're going to ship the card in one to three weeks if the form we submitted goes through. So we got to wait on the card until the form gets the green light. They begin to say, okay, thanks. I just didn't know I had to make an account with the dash. So guys, if you're going through that, just take the picture, then upload it. Um, take the picture on your phone, save it, then upload it up to the docs. You know, um, that does seem to be working. And um, like I said, I know I wish tons and tons of people when I say contacted me and said they wish they would have knew this. And um, it's never too late, guys. So if you guys still have that information, still have that option, feel free to do that. Feel free to do that, guys. Feel free to do that. Like I said, I got other information on my channel. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys like and subscribe because I will be doing a giveaway here um, at the end of the month on the 30th. So yeah, I'm about to go get some tea. He <laughs> get some something. Uh, go ahead and get some tea. I really wish everybody the best. Continue to stay loyal. Stay blessed. Stay true. Stay you. And feel free to drop a comment below. Let me know how you guys feel. How do I look up my PPP loan number? My name is Quinn Banks. If you are new to the channel, of course, you guys got to like and subscribe. That would be the easiest way for you guys to actually stay in tune with the latest and greatest information. Also, you guys will be in tune with the giveaway that I'll be doing each and every month, guys. What's up? Once again, my name is Quinn Banks. Feel free at any time, guys, if you guys got... Um, any questions or concerns, I will try my best to actually help you guys, as I always do. And then um, I talk about the PPP extension, which we talked about on my channel. I also talk about um, whether it's Chime, whether it's uh, Blue Acorns, Wombly, all of your financial needs I try to talk to you guys about. And I appreciate everybody who watches my content, but um, the statistics actually show 85% of people who watch my content is not subscribed so we need to boost that rate boost that percentage as soon as possible guys I will actually try my best to um, you know what I mean check those stats again and make sure everybody subscribed up now um, this is very very easy um, this question that we had um, somebody begin to say hey how do we find out where our loan number is if you guys ever applied through Wompley Blue Acorns um, any other lender even your financial institution which could be your bank <clears throat> you guys will see um, your loan number and um, you guys will actually see like I said your information your address your name you know what I mean um, some documents may have your social security numbers but I do want to let you guys know um, when it comes to all that information make sure you guys number one don't lose any of that information uh, put it up somewhere make sure it's in a file secured because we all know those information that information has like you know your social your name your address all that good stuff on there now um if you guys receive your promissory note now um you guys will receive let me go ahead and activate